Hey guys, and it's Saturday Dan one again here with a new video, and for this video I'm doing my summer backlog challenge, basically. This is something that started like a few years back, and a lot of fellow YouTubers have been doing this, and I've been noticing it. And it was something I saw like last year, but I had just started my YouTube at the time, so I didn't like get into it, but I figured this time would be a good time. And basically what this is, is me and like just a bunch of other fellow YouTubers are just kind of challenging ourselves, basically, to you know, over the course of summer to beat some games that are in our backlog or maybe we just never had time for that we just haven't gotten around to. So let's definitely just jump into this. I have five games to like. It. Now to start things off, I actually have two DS games that I've been wanting for so long but I bought and I just haven't gotten around to them basically and I, I was kind of waiting honestly for summertime to jump into these more hardcore basically but and both of these are still sealed too because I haven't played them yet. First one, I'll, I'll, I need to try this game out, and that is 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. I definitely want to delve into this and try and beat it, basically. I've heard a lot of good things about it, but to be honest, these kind of games aren't my type of game. Like, these kind of like novel kind of point and clicks. I've never really gotten too hardcore into them, with the exception of a few. So I definitely want to see what all the fuss is about this game. It definitely looks interesting, hence an M-rated title and all that, so I'm definitely interested in trying it out. Especially since the sequel is actually coming for PS Vita and the 3DS called Virtue's Last Reward, and it, that looks really interesting too. It's actually the sequel to this, so I definitely want to play through that. Hopefully if I enjoy it, I'll probably pick that up. So. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Definitely want Next, we have a game I've this. been wanting for the longest time. I knew about the game way ahead of time, but I missed out on it because I just didn't have money at the time to buy it. But I have bought it like a couple of weeks ago. I still need to show it off in the new recent pickups, which I need to record eventually. But definitely, I, I gotta try this game out. And that is Radiant Historia for the DS. I've been wanting this game for so long. There's a story to this game where, you know, after it came out, it was kind of readily available for a while, but then it hit this point where it just became really rare all of a sudden. Like, people were charging like hundreds, like a hundred dollars just for like a brand new copy like this. And it was absolutely absurd. I'm not going to pay that kind of price. So, finally, Atlas saw that and they did a reprint. So now these were available again on Amazon for the MSRP of $34.99. When this came out, it has like a really rare, like first, you know, print soundtrack CD, which Atlas did for a lot of them. But I knew about this game way ahead of time. I just like didn't have, I wanted to pre order, but I didn't have the money at the time. Simple. But so I missed, I thought I missed my chance to get this game, honestly. And I was kind of kicking myself for the longest time. But and hearing so many people talk about this game, they're like, oh, why is it so expensive? So I definitely gotta thank Atlas for reprinting this. I cannot wait to play this. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. So uh, it's just like a, it's a time traveling based kind of RPG where it's really heavily based on manipulating time and story elements like that. I'm really intrigued by that. So I definitely, definitely got delve into this game. Right this next story. game is gonna come as a surprise to some people that actually you know haven't played this game or have I beaten it or whatever. And I just recently got and started playing it. But I'd love to finish it over the summer. And before I show this off, let me explain something real quick. I had the PS1 when I was like younger and stuff, and when I had the PS1, I wasn't playing any RPGs. I was, I was young at the time, so I didn't know about RPGs really. So I missed out on those like whole generation of PlayStation 1 RPGs. I was playing like racing games, and I had stuff like Metal Gear Solid, which I loved and all that. But definitely, this is like the kind of game I bought. I bought this a few months ago. I need to show it off in a new recent pickups, but this is kind of like the kick in the butt to kind of motivate me to start, you know, buying some of these PS1 RPGs and getting into it. So I figured why not start with a great one, and that is Final Fantasy VII. I recently picked this up, just like I said, a couple months ago. I actually started playing it, but I haven't put a whole lot of time into it. I played like maybe, maybe three, four hours, and that's about it. But I absolutely love what I played of it. And I know what you're thinking, like, man, this is kind of older game, it's been talked about a lot. I've never played it, and I've actually steered clear for a good time of, you know, spoilers of any kind, so I've actually done a good job staying away from spoilers of any sort. Besides knowing, like, the names of the characters and all that, I really went into this game knowing absolutely nothing. So I'm absolutely impressed so far. People would argue the game's dated, maybe it's just me, and for some reason, PS1 games aren't too dated to me. I would go back and look at them. Maybe it's because I'm playing on a PS2 with component cables, so 
all the games look really good still, so especially this one, this one looks really good still. I don't see why some people call this game dated, with the exception of the character models, which kind of look like Popeye characters, but <laughs> that's that's the limitations of the PlayStation 1. But other than that, the game, like the, it's got like this kind of steampunk style going for it. The game looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the battle theme. The battle feels, the battle system feels really good. And I'm liking the characters. They're a nice, diverse group of characters. So I'm definitely looking forward into beating this game and just completely delving into this game over the summer. So that is Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation. And next we have a Wii game that I recently picked up and it recently came out too. And a lot of people have been anticipating this game for the Wii, and that is the Great Xenoblade Chronicles. Now, I've actually put in quite a bit of time into this, actually, I'm about 20 plus hours into it, and I heard the game's like 50, 60 hours, so I must be approaching like the halfway point, so I'm definitely enjoying the game, I'm definitely looking forward to like just putting a lot more time in this game over the summer, and trying to beat it, which I think I will, which I'll be trying to wrap this up actually pretty soon, but I'm actually enjoying it, the game is absolutely phenomenal, the game looks gorgeous, there's a lot of beautiful environments, like the Satchel Marsh and all that, absolutely love that, it's just some gorgeous environments. So, I like this game, it's got that like combat system with like an MMORPG kind of, where it's kind of simple and you just kind of like click different icons, but definitely a really good game from, I'm really impressed from what I've played so far, I'm actually a lot more impressed than I kind of thought I would be. And the British voice acting, I don't mind it at all in this game, so definitely looking forward to delving into And next we got a fantastic 360 RPG that I have not played yet surprisingly and I had it for in my collection for almost a year now and I just never got around to it because I was waiting for that good time to fully delve into it since it is a very long game but I finally decided to pop it in and give it a shot and that is Lost Odyssey on the Xbox 360 and I actually started playing it recently like this past week and I put like maybe two hours or so and that's it so I'm definitely looking forward to it absolutely delving into this game from what I played of those first couple hours I'm actually really impressed the game looks great the character seems interesting the battle system is super simple turn based with some interesting mechanics with the rings and these like circle pop-ups that happen but it seems really interesting the story's got a really good story going for it I like the style I was, I was surprised how like steampunk it is but I like that steampunk style so definitely just a fantastic looking game. It shows a lot of promise from what i played so far. So definitely over the summer looking forward to fully delving into this game. And that is my stops. summer 2012 backlog challenge. So I'd definitely like to thank you for watching. Definitely let me know in the comments what's, you know, some of the games you guys are really focused on beating over the summer. I'm definitely really interested in what you guys are like the games you're, you guys are focused on. So definitely let me know in the comments below and definitely if you can, do a video response to try and get as many YouTubers into this as we can. So, thank you for watching, and until next time, guys, we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.